two stories of why I feel like he actually want to be with a man. I feel like he don't want to be to be with a woman because of how he treats women in general. All of the women that's around him, he don't have them around him like on no tip, like I love them. He only have them around because he's trying to hide the fact and cover up the fact that he wants to be with a transgender and he only can fuck pussy because we on social media and he doesn't want to be looked at as gay, which he already had that spin and he was creating a whole atmosphere and, and, and carbonation for us to protect him and be like, oh yeah, he's not gay. He's not gay. So he has to push polygamy. He has to have more than one woman because he's in fucking competent. Needless to say, we was in Belize. I know this was before you came along. We was in Belize. This was like um, the uh, very beginning of our relationship. This was before he took Sheba's virginity. Me and him was in a tent. Mind you, I'm so oblivious to his his normal ways. Like, I'm just completely oblivious. So, he gets out of the tent, and he's walking away on the cell phone, like, calling somebody on the cell phone video chat, walking away from our tent. So, I look out the tent window. This was before I had Eliana. I was looking out the tent window, and I seen him, because, you know, he used to promote everyone in carbonation to be naked. Like, at one point in time, we was damn near bare, like, you know, to a certain extent. So uh, he didn't have clothes on, on his, in, at this one particular moment. And he, when I looked out the tent window, he had the phone pointing down to his private part. And I was like, what the fuck is he showing somebody his dick on camera? Like, I was so mad. And he came back to the tent, and I was like, what you doing? And he was like, what you talking about? I'm like, who you on the phone with? I said, was you just showing that man your penis? And he, because I knew he was on the phone with a man. So he was like, oh, no, I wasn't showing him, try to deny it. And I was like, no, my nigga, you was showing him your dick. I seen you. Like, don't try to flex on me. Like, don't play on me. He was like, yeah, he came out and confessed. He was like, that's just somebody who was a client back in the day, and we have a relationship. And, and he starts to tell me about how uh, he needed to keep these connections because these uh, people gave him money. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't Mike. No, this wasn't Mike. This was a whole nother person. You know, he starts telling me about how this person, you know, uh, is, is, is a potential person to look out for him when he fall on his ass. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what the fuck? Like, so I just ignored it. You know, I ignored it because he wasn't physically having sex with this man. You know what I'm saying? So he only had a relationship with him over the phone. But after that incident, he called them or the man called him multiple occasions on multiple occasions, like months apart. And he'll just want to see Nature Boy dick and Nature Boy will just show him his dick and just have conversations with him. Like, it's just all normal. You know what I'm saying? When we went to Atlanta, when we got deported and went to Atlanta, he actually went to go. I think he went to go. Uh, oh, he was about to go hang out with the man or some shit like that and bring me with him. He was going to bring me with him to hang out with the man.